all right guys what is up we are back with some more batman caped crusader this time episode four the night of the hunters uh just based on what i see on the screen and by on the screen i mean the little thumbnail thing for the play the episode i see firefly so i assume this episode is going to be about firefly i hope so <laughs> otherwise that'd be kind of funny if it wasn't uh last episode was about catwoman sort of it was. Uh, I assumed Catwoman would be a big more prominent part of the episode. It, it was. It was. Don't get me wrong. It was her episode. But we actually explored more of Bruce and his mentality. And obviously, we got an origin story again. But I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. It was kind of cool. Uh, stuff was lapping in, you know, in a very Bruce Tim kind of way. You know, he's uh, he was very good. <laughs> Gave me very, you know, Bruce Tim vibes. I'm like, yeah. You're, you're good at this. This is this is this is your bread and butter. You're very good at, you know, lapping things in and intertwining two good stories in a 20 minute episode. Very very good. Let's let's watch it again. <laughs> let's watch it. Let's let's watch another uh, 20 minute episode of uh, Batman: Caped Crusader. Excited to see what this is gonna be. Maybe you'll have some surprises, but we'll see. Three, two, one, go. What do you think of the, the Batman? You guys are twins. That's that's so creepy. Oh. <laughs> that dude popped his <laughs> gum all over his face. God, this is such a forties. I love it, man. I love this. It's so good. What's the matter? You gonna stage a mugging? Nothing? Not that dumb. Okay, that is bad. The acting is terrible on that one. Interesting. Why do you take them? Next 
Really? I feel like you gotta change your angle, you know what I mean? Ouch. Okay, they're making a blockade. He's not stopping. Bro, you gotta move. He's not stopping. You don't give a shit. <laughs> He's like, my car is better than yours. Oh, not this guy. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna die. Oh, that thing goes fast. <laughs> really, brother? Okay, made that statement. Great, man. You were. I mean, I feel like a real commissioner would be like, Mr. Mayor, I don't, I feel like maybe catching a shadow is a waste of our resources. Hello. <laughs> I feel like he's luring him out. Maybe. Why would he do? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. There's the signal. True. Plays intelligence. This doesn't feel like. see the point in this
Huh. Okay. You're gonna release a weirdo? No. It shouldn't be. Nope. It's Firefly. That a reference in some way? That's one of my clients. What are you doing with him? None of your bees wax. We got orders to take him to Arkham Asylum. For a psychic, I believe he was. I wasn't notified. Probably just an oversight. Yeah. Red team. Anyway. Well, be careful with that one. He's more dangerous than he looks. Shit. That's what you get. <laughs> These idiots. Just have to keep flicking the lighter, huh? To the to to the guy who's the pyrotechnic. Pyrophiliac, bro. You wanna, you wanna, like, it's not philia, I know. What, what's, oh my god. What's the word? This man gets a, gets a king for fire. You wanna keep putting it in his face. These guys are idiots. Hey, you want to keep playing with fire, huh? Go on, do your thing. They're not gonna. They're not gonna stop you. Feeling that Bruce might have seen all this stuff. Bro, Flash is tapped, man. At least Bullock's an idiot. Flash is just tapped. This guy's got issues. Not the kids, man. Jesus. Look at this imagery, bro. This is horrifying. These poor people need to run. Where's he going? Oh, uh, gasoline. Yeah. 
You need fuel first. Yeah. Shit. Ugh. <sighs> the music is crazy, man. And he just walks through it. Yeah. You'll find out soon. Damn. Woof. Good bob and weave. That was kind of scary. <laughs> Those are shotguns. So you guys aren't good cops? Jim, I think you got to understand the value you hold there, buddy. If something bad happens to you, uh, Gotham's really fucked. Good man, you do not want to be here. Wait, that way, go. Get out of there, man. Jim, I don't know, man. Ah, oh, brother. You're... Oof. You're a gutsy man for your age. But I respect it. I don't, I don't know. It's dangerous, man. Look, it's this creepy ass shot. Look at this shit.
yeah, okay. You just gonna shoot him? You're gonna kill him, huh? That's fucked. Oh. Yeah, good job there, buddy. Really fucked up there, didn't you? He needs your help. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. God damn it. I can take it down outside. No, those men will shoot at you. They might not see the kids. Come on. I know these buildings. This used to be my beat. Okay. Goes to the laundry. What's at the bottom? Fuck well. Find out. Yes, we will. Okay. Good. Whew. Come on, kids. What are you doing? He's gone. Get out of there. All right. Everyone stay close. Thank God. I thought he was still in there. He was. You didn't see what happened then. Okay. So this isn't Firefly. <laughs> it is Firebug. All right. I did think it was interesting that they said Firebug. Deputy politics. Why do they always put it on the paper? Like, bro, I'm reading that. Asshole. This is rough. Yet. Yeah, Leave the gym to do some good work, but yeah. That was that was a good episode, man. That was a really good episode. I liked it. I liked it, but at the same time, damn. Did not expect him to die. That was fucked. He really shot him. I thought Bruce was going to get him. I thought Batman was going to save him. But he didn't make it in time. Uh, so, Harley showed up again. Uh... Again, I don't know how much of a spoiler this is, but based on what I'm seeing for next episode, uh, next episode is her episode, so that'll be interesting. Harley is a mutual friend of Barbara and Renee, so that's interesting. Wonder what gets her to do all that. I mean, she seems kind of obsessed with Batman to a certain degree, based on what she said, you know. Uh, a little bit of like, you know, you like the freaks and the weirdos, so who knows, maybe she wants to be a freak and a weirdo for him. <laughs> Sounds crazy out of context, but honestly, I don't think it's off the mark too much. Uh, like, innuendo or no innuendo, <laughs> I think literally, it might, yeah, it might, it might uh, given how Harley normally rolls, yeah. Different version of her, for sure, but yeah, 
yeah, I mean, we'll see how this one goes. We gotta remember, Bruce Tim is also the person that is responsible for Harley Quinn getting created. So, I mean, if anyone's gonna know how to make a spin on her, it would be him. So, yeah, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Uh, we're technically not even halfway uh, done with the season, but I think we're getting towards the complicated part now where things start to go a bit, you know, not so great for our heroes, including the Batman. So intentions were good at the beginning, but things got a little out of hand. We're definitely seeing some, you know, background characters taking advantage of this, Harvey being one of them. So yeah, I'm also curious about that. It is interesting to see how much of the world is involved in each episode. They're always kind of bits and pieces. So part of my curiosity is wondering if like the penguin or Catwoman are ever gonna like have a moment, you know, throughout the season, uh, despite you know them having their own episodes. But because it was so early on, I'm a bit curious. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe not, maybe not. Part of me kind of hopes maybe not, because I like being introduced to more and more new characters, but hey. Um, well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I'm trying to think, what else happened this episode? Besides the campaign, oh, uh, this was the first episode where we got Gordon actually getting involved, which was also very cool. It's kind of sad because while we got Gordon involved, we also got him now, you know, exit out of his position. We did get to see the signal at the top of the roof, which is kind of funny. I thought that was going to be more of a uh, conversation, but I guess, you know, it was shoot on sight, basically. Um, it was, you know, Gordon wasn't there to really talk with Bruce. He was out there to apprehend him. So I can understand why, from a story standpoint, that wouldn't have made a whole lot of sense. So there's that. But yeah, I, overall, not like too many weird parts to the episode that were like, I guess plot twists are really surprising. We know that he's from the east side. That's um, that's what he was talking about uh, when Gordon was like, "That's that's where I'm. That's where I was from previously." So that's some information. Sure, I'm trying to find anything that's like kind of relevant. I guess Bruce saw all like the papers and stuff that they had on him. So maybe he has. Although it might be out of date, he has some better understanding of what the 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 cops have on him but i'm sure he can find his way back in there and and get his info and see how that goes but yeah not a whole lot of much to talk about but if i didn't miss anything by the off chance you guys can put it down in the comments i think i'm gonna just leave it there yeah yeah i like the episode for sure really really good i love the imagery with the fire it was disturbing uh him at the window was it's crazy the duality of him at the window and then bullock at the window right so it's that poetic animation that is with imagery and symbolism that's so good um very you know batman the animated series which obviously no shocker you would expect so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next episode which will be the harley quinn one maybe i'll get some surprises there who knows we'll see but i look forward to it and i hope you guys are looking forward to it too if you guys are though like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one hope you guys have a good day take care peace and goodbye